we have a very famous mountain here, Mount Rainier or Mount Tahoma. We have some days of rain <laughs> and cloudy days and days where we don't see sun. And so the mountain's <laughs> not always out, but when it is out, it is glorious and it just dominates the skyline, the cityscape. I was tweeting on my way to work. I was riding a bus in Seattle, going into downtown Seattle, and there was a couple viewpoints where I was able to gaze out over the city through the clouds, and if the mountain was out, I would tweet about it, and other people would chime in. It kind of snowballed from there. Uh, I launched the Rainier Watch shop after testing the waters. I had made a couple stickers and was curious to see if people would be interested in them. And it's grown since then, and I donate a portion back of every sale to the national parks to help protect them and preserve them, specifically the parks in Washington, and also donate to organizations and nonprofits that help promote diversity and inclusion in the outdoors, because that's very important. When I launched the shop, it was run out of my spare bedroom. Quickly, it spilled out into my hallway because t-shirts take up a lot of space. That, that was not okay to start taking over the rest of the house. So a couple months ago, we started this really fun project uh, basically, I call it Rainier Watch HQ. So that's where we are now. It's 200 square feet, it's in our backyard, and it's just a really fun space that I've been able to decorate and uh, store all the apparel in. Uh, running a small business is no walk in the park. Uh, it's extremely difficult. There's obstacles at every turn. Also, I'm a new father, and so not being able to be present or home with my daughter every second that I want to is something that I struggle with a lot. I want to be building Rainier Watch and spending some of my spare time on that, but also I really want to be home with my daughter and not miss key moments in her life as she learns how to walk and those sorts of things. And I've heard so many stories from other people about their first time seeing Mount Rainier when it's out or the view that they have from where they live and they've showed me pictures even on their phone and <laughs> having this shared bond over this landmark has been just really fun to be able to build a community around that and and grow that and talk to other people that have that same interest. <laughs>